Now simply here, that's my distiller. Okay? That's the distiller I have. <clears throat> now this is in reference to a response to a comment. Okay? I am opening the distiller that I just got done distilling. I'm taking my hand, okay, my hand, and putting it in the inner layer and peeling up the side. Do you see all that? Here, let me get this in better light. Do you see all that white powder? That's lime. That's calcium. That's buildup. That's what's in your blood. You see that? I'll wash my hand again. See my finger? Nothing there. Simply watch my finger. There's the science. That's what gets left behind through the distill distillation process. Simply the water is here and then it gets evaporated and leaves behind all the heavy particulates and gets vaporized into the air and then goes out. And whatever gets left behind, that's what's left. Now, okay, now after I distill my water, I basically take it out and I vortex it three times negative and then three times positive. Okay, and th and and then I put it in this gallon right here. With it, that's an ion stick inside there. That's creating hydrogen through minerals, and it's negatively charging the water. I also added in some of the amica, 12 drops of amica active ionic, active ionic. I had 12 drops of that, or I'll mix in some uh, Celtic salt, a pinch of Celtic salt. But here's that water that I was showing you with the uh, high levels of lime, uh, all sorts of heavy calcium and levels. Now, that's the spring water that was left behind in the distiller. I'm going to repeat that again. That is the heavy particulates taken out of the spring water. After two dist distillations, that's what's in your water. Now, after... The water comes out, I ha it comes, the other, the clean water, basically the distilled water, I have in a BPA-free plastic container that the distilled water goes into. That distilled water then goes inside the gallon jug with the ion stick to sit for about six hours. And then that water um, is then risen to a pH of about a 7.8 to about an 8. That's it. And then I take that and I drink that water. Now, to the response that about the spring water the spring water that I just that I have right here okay I'm gonna grab the spring water and I'm gonna put the spring water as you can watch with my hand, bare hands from Triple Springs up in Meriden Connecticut okay this is this is the spring water I have my trusty PPM meter here. Sorry, but I really don't like people when they talk about water and they don't know what the hell they're talking about. Here is that is the PPM level. 340 different parts per million. Who knows what the hell is in that water? Okay? 348 parts per million. Okay? Wow. That's in spring water. I'm going to dump this, give this water to my nice little sunflower sprouts. Now, remember, when I said I distilled my water, I add 12 drops of active ionic in my water um, to, to, uh, to balance the fulvic acids. And I balanced it out, and this is my PPM meter. I put that in there. Um, uh, I have 73 parts per million. That's what I like my water at um, in the distilled water. Now, the distilled water that came out just a little bit ago before I added the minerals back into the gallon was at zero parts per million. I'm going to do another video on the distillation process and showing you how it actually works. Again... And, and you'll see that at, clearly at the end of the distillation process, 
you'll get a clean zero parts per million water versus the nasty shit that's in the bottom of this and again I want to show you again here's my hand nothing on my finger see nothing's on there here's my hand you see the sediment that's nasty that's what you're drinking folks if you're drinking spring water you are drinking nasty calcium and lime the only clean water on earth is distilled water and you could rebring that back to life using the hydrodynamic water vortexer <clears throat> by using the vortexer and structuring your water. Nasty. Ugh.